page, but as I've been here at Creek Summit with all of you, I've learned that no testimony is normal and everyone has a story. So to give you a little background on my life, I grew up in a Christian home with Christian parents and Christian grandparents. I have an eight-year-old brother who will be a freshman at the University of Georgia in the fall, and an eleven-year-old sister who is about to finish the fourth grade. We always went to church every Sunday morning, every Sunday night, and Wednesday night. Really, every time the doors were open, we were always there. Our parents raised us for the morals and Christian values. I was always around our Christian friends growing up, and I was actively involved in our church youth group and Christian clubs at school. I will say that at, when I was very young, I really don't even remember the exact date, but it was in the fall of 2002, I believe. I was eight years old. I knew I was born in a relationship with Jesus, and I asked him to come into my life and not confess my sin to him. I was baptized to publicly proclaim my faith in my Southern Baptist Church a few months later, with all my family there supporting me and showing their love for me. I do believe that this was the moment in my life that I was saved, but I truly didn't start surrendering everything in, me, in my life to Him until much later. About a year later, after I was saved, I was in the third grade, and my sister Kristen was born. She was born with Down syndrome, and that was really hard for my family to accept in the beginning. If you don't know what Down syndrome is, it's a chromosomal disorder that causes developmental and intellectual delays, and it results in obvious physical characteristic differences and features. At first, I was confused because I didn't really know what Down syndrome was, and I often found myself very frustrated. I was worried my sister would never be able to carry on a conversation with me, she wouldn't be pretty, and I was just scared that people would make fun of her, and my family because she had special needs. I was aggravated at God because why would he do this? It was my dream to have a little sister, but now all I wanted was for her to be normal. It didn't take long for me to understand that Kristen was placed in my life for a reason, and God handpicked us to raise her and love her. Kristen has taught me the truth of the happiness and joy, and she has changed our family. God blessed us tremendously by placing Kristen in our lives. She is beautiful and radiant in every way, and I wouldn't change a thing about her even if I could. She's my hero, and I would be lost without her. God has really taught me a lot through my sister, and he continues to teach me new things through her every day. She's the biggest blessing in my life. Okay, so now for, fast forward a few years. I was a constant cheerleader all throughout middle and high school. I was surrounded by 20 of my best friends every single day for hours upon hours. God really laid it on my heart to witness to them. I began to share devotional once a week and practice with these girls, sharing the love of Jesus and praying over them beginning about the night through the 10th grade. The thought of my cheer sisters and best friends about knowing the Lord really hit me hard, and I wanted nothing more for them to experience His love just as I have. Throughout my high school years, I experienced tragedy upon tragedy, car wrecks, suicide, cancer, everything. Fourteen students from my high school died within a year and a half. This left me, my friends, my family, my school heartbroken and searching for answers. This gave me the chance to share my faith with so many people and to pour His love into them. I dove into the Bible searching for answers and for comfort more than I have ever had during this time. I was heartbroken and didn't understand what God was doing and why our school and community had experienced this. I found hope and peace in Jesus Christ and His Holy Word. One of my favorite verses that helped me during this time was Psalms 34, 18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed spirit. Without Him, I have no idea where I would be right now. I would be probably be depressed, devastated, miserable, and absolutely hopeless. God used me throughout this time the rest of my high school years to share my faith and be a Christian model to my classmates and my children. I remember especially, specifically a few days after my friend Logan died um, in a car accident. He died three months later. He was in a coma for three months. I was sitting with my sister on the couch, and I was obviously so very upset. She said to me, Caitlin, don't be sad. Logan is in heaven with Jesus down. He's okay. This is just another example of how much Christopher blessed me and comforted me throughout my life. Before I knew it, I was graduating high school and starting college shortly after. To say I'd be scared would be an understatement. I moved into my dormitory southern with three random roommates that I've never met before and began to start coaching the week before classes started. I had no idea what I was getting myself in, into. I was all of a sudden on my own without my parents and going through much, which I had no idea was at the time because none of my family is getting grief. On big day, I was completely overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed by the beautiful girls, overwhelmed by the fact I didn't know anyone, and I was terrified in every single way. That night, I questioned whether I did the right thing about growing Greek or not, because everything I was hearing about found you and just Greek life in general was parties, drinking, and going to the bars. <coughs> I've never drank before, and I've never partied in high school, so this scared me to death, and I was wondering if Greek, Greek life was the right choice for me, considering I was a Christian. It didn't take me long for me to realize and understand that Jesus put me in Greek life and found me specifically for a reason. 
I love to follow his command and share his love and his prayer to my chapter, my school, and to all the nations. I began getting plugged into the Bible studies of my freshman year, and I just went when I could. But this past year, my sophomore year, I became chaplain of my chapter and got extremely involved in finding Bible study and had countless christ centered talks with my sisters and friends, as well as being very involved in group. My relationship with Jesus Christ has grown so much over this past year for that I am very thankful. It is amazing to see him work in my life and experience his love for me. He has really blessed me with an incredible college experience so far and has given me a Christian community to surround myself with. My random roommates quickly became my very best friends, which is something that I never thought what could ever happen. One roommate in particular, Carly, and I got very close. I believe she is a true friendship from God to help me and encourage me in my faith through this college journey. We face a lot of the same struggles, and it is so reassuring to have her by my side as we comfort one another and lead each other to the call in every aspect of life. I couldn't do life without her. Being able to wake up on a Sunday morning and have my best friend who just happens to be in our roommate also go to church with me, go to crew with me, is something I never thought I would find in college. I never thought I, that leaving my home church, my youth group, my friends, that I would find the Christian community that I found in Georgia Southern. I am so thankful for that, and I do, that I'm so thankful for the Christian community that I have, and that will me and encourage me as I try to spread the gospel to my sister and Sisters of my youth and a great God community. I still struggle with being nervous and scared to share my faith with others, and I worry about what they might think about me, so that is something I, that I continually pray about. I also still struggle with downplaying my own sin and comparing it to other people's sin, thinking that I am better than I learned, that I am better than they are. But while I've been here at Greek Summit, I've also learned so much and more about how all sin is equal in God's eyes and how it's so wrong for me for, to downplay my own sin and comparing it to others. Great summit so far has been the best time of my life and have experienced Jesus Christ in ways I never thought possible. I can't wait to leave as a changed person with a deeper faith and I look forward to the fall semester so I can bring back everything I've learned here and will continue to learn the next week in my family chapter and great life community in Statesboro. God is so good and His grace can be